Alrighty guys, back here with the trailer, I got it back home, I'm actually doing a fair bit of work on it, not much, just been spray painting the panels here, I'm not going to show you because it's a very windy day and I suppose I shouldn't do it but I've just got a, no chance, no time, I'll just quickly show what the works has done, so that's a brand new cross beam, no rust, brand new rollers, one, two, three, touch up paint work and also I've got brand new hubs, disc brakes and I've reversed the axle before the springs on top I've made them lower because I haven't got a four wheel drive and launch and retrieving with a very high trailer it was a bit awkward when I was doing that but would tip over and get wet so hopefully this works out good so what I want to do to retrieve that boat back onto the trailer as I said in the last vid first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the old cable here and basically that feeds through you got to undo this little nut and it catches on like that so I'm just undoing it and when I show you how I put it back on break that through bring that under looks like there's another line here that goes through as well as a safety but I think I just it's very rare you need to extend it all the way back here so I'm just going to do this Tighten up the slack. <laughs> I need to get this pretty much in line because I don't want the boat to be tilted, compromised on the retrieve. That's it, right there. Now, I haven't done this before. So, if, <laughs> this is purely for documentary purposes for myself and also for your viewers. Get a rough idea, but. So, bring it in. Now, I need to actually tip the trailer. Oh, get under it. Get under it as much as I can. Start turning. Right, so, the t so this just resembles the ramp, it's on an angle, that should slowly come up, yeah. The only problem is, because I've got the new cross beams, I've got this here new, and I had actually lift this up because it was much lower than the uh, mud guard, so I may have to adjust that. And the key thing is, the peel needs to be firmly on the bottom rollers, and just slightly sit on top of the slats because you're wanting the weight down the bottom. So there might be a, a bit of adjustments happening. Whew. I'm glad I had that beer for the nerves. So I'll keep on turning. The only thing is those tyres are actually stopping me from getting that boat on. So i just gonna keep turning. Because once the boat's on the trailer, then I can free free by getting rid of those tyres. Tipping. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Let's have a look. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I've got to adjust this back bit. <laughs> There's a gap, just unscrew that, prop that up, 
because I'm glad I put this up. That's hitting it right good. Plenty of freeway here. And a bit on the other side. But as well, this roller here. There's a bit of a gap. I actually want it to sit on the roller. So bring that up a bit. Easy peasy. <laughs> Stressful, but doable. Alright, so come down here. So to lift up this here, make sure it's touching. So that's turning, it's touching. I just got my jack from the car, put the board, unloosen these up, and lift this up until it's getting some nice friction. I'm just making sure I didn't lift it too high. So that's actually sitting on that one there as well. So that's good. <laughs> Learn something new every day. And that back one there is definitely sitting on. I'll quickly check it. So I'm in the back of the boat now. I'll quickly show you. That's uh, the, the, the boat's actually hitting it right here. But over here there's a gap. Now, I'm not going to take the boat off and adjust it. I'm actually going to put tar jack here, a bit of wood, prop it up onto this beam here. I'll undo this and then release the jack so it won't slip or fall and that's why I'll adjust that height because if I was just to undo that without this if it moves too down I can't catch it so this way here I think is a good way safe way so uh, try that it's always trying to think ahead I'm no mechanic no professional but I love using my hands and working things out Gonna undo this. Okay, so that's loose. Now I'm just gonna bring this jack down and you can see the boat's moving. Button this up. And I'll, get, and I'll do the other side. I managed to get it done. Just the final product there. It's all nice. Got that paint on. Probably another coat would have been fine. Had troubles trying to adjust this to get it to the right size, but managed to do that. So it's looking pretty, pretty good. No rust, brand new crossbeam. So yeah, and it pays to get professionals to do the job. And uh, I'll just show you the link who did it. Lewis down there at the John Pappas in Osmond Park. And he does a mobile service as well. Thanks mate, done a good job, great job. So in the meantime, I'm cooking up a barbie. I haven't got any bush chooks, believe it or not the shops ran out so I got this stuff. So uh, yeah, see you next time. I've got the boat on and it's been great. What do you reckon Anthony? Yeah. Good job? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, see you next time. Take it easy. Fish. Dom up the tucker. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Tucker. Man. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Tucker. The fish. Tucker. Man.